Okay, so to install the Noctua cooler, I need to remove the stock, like AMD retention uh, little brackets, and then that will actually remove the stock backplate, and then this backplate will go um, on the back. And it does this sort of, I don't know, sticky layer or whatever, it's uh, some kind of insulation, and so uh, maybe to prevent static, I don't know. Uh, but that, you want this, uh, connect, you want this like in contact with the motherboard and then the metal is just outside. And then you can read the plate. A little stuck on one, so I'm just gonna push it out and then it pops out. But what's a little weird, I guess, I guess they use just a little bit of sticky something. Oh, it has a groove in the groove of the fan. Or in the heat sink. Hmm. Anyway, kind of get it out. So I think that's all ready. So now I'll actually install CPU. Okay. So installing the CPU is always the trickiest part. Um, it is good to like ground yourself. So I touch a case that's plugged into the wall, metal case, so that. Uh, you, ground it. you could also wear a wrist strap, uh, have anti-static things, or, I don't know, I've sort of done it enough times, knock on wood, I don't have any problems yet, but um, you could also wear like anti-static gloves, but those are you know, weird, hard to, you don't have as much dexterity. Okay, so to install a Ryzen chip, uh, there's a little arrow in the lower left corner, and there's also a little arrow in the same on motherboard socket. So, you know, you open this up, um, to open that up, that unlocks it, there's a little lock, unlock symbol, it's in the top as well. And you also actually notice, if you look on the slots, the pins, so three, three, uh, um, it forms like a diagonal line, but where this arrow is, there's a notch cut out. And so, if you look at the actual processor, notice it's the same, of course. Right, so you could see these three, um, sort of the three, the three, the three, it's this like diagonal, triangular you know, line, but then in this one, there's a little notch like cut out, and it's this little block where there's no pins. So that arrow uh, lines up here. And so then, Feel it, it's snug in there, and then you lower this down and then make it clip. And that's it. You know, normally you to figure out you put this on the top and then you, you have the thermal paste and you and then you clip everything down, but these screws are on the bottom, so what I'm seeing everyone does, they actually uh, <laughs> basically you flip it upside down and you put it on top. So Yeah, okay. So we have a thermal place. Okay, and then you just jam it on. It's a little dust. And I've been cleaning this. It's still So once you have the thermal paste on there, you basically pick up the whole motherboard, you leave the heatsink on the bottom, and then you actually, with the heat sink, with the motherboard upside down, you like put it on there like a sandwich. Um, it's actually not that hard. At first it felt very strange, and I was really worried I was messing it up. But if you just come down exactly, you know, straight down, and then you can kind of see the holes and the mounts uh, line up, 
you really just smash it down there. You'll feel the thermal paste kind of spread and almost become, what happens is it can slide a lot. And that was a concern. I was afraid that I might slide and, and the paste would slide off, you know, but anyway, once you, you know, have it there, don't pick it up. It, it becomes sticky. So it slides real easy, but it actually, once you smash it on, it doesn't come off and you don't want that because you don't want air bubbles and you want like a nice spread, you know, of the, the thermal paste. So yeah, once you have it there, you kind of do the fine tune aligning, you keep it pressure down, then you uh, attach the bracket with, you know, the right side, uh, on uh, the, with that, that insulation part connected to the motherboard. And you basically just hold it all there and then you get those screws and you screw it in. Now, I apologize. I actually lost the footage uh, of the last bit of me like screwing it together. Uh, the camera died without me knowing and I just... Yeah, there's no way for me to replace it. So I apologize, but you're basically 90% of the way there. And, you know, with it, you know, make sure, don't let it slide around. Just be confident. Just, you know, smash it down and then screw it on and, and screw it diagonally. You know, you alternate the corners and evenly and, and tighten. And, you know, you just get each screw in and you don't tighten them until all four screws are in. You tighten them also in a diagonal pattern to make sure it comes on really evenly and you don't have any force on one side or the other. And uh, then you're all done. That's it.